What an incredible, what an incredible turnout today. There's still a line snaking out the door here, and Hillary is on, his, on her way. Ken Salazar is on his way. It's great to be here. It's going to be awesome to see our next president, Hillary Clinton, right here in Pueblo, Colorado. There are a lot of things, Pueblo, I could say about what we're hearing on our television sets at night. But one of the, and some of it are things, as the father of three daughters, I never thought I'd hear come out of the mouth of a politician. But one of the things I want to tell you about Donald Trump, with all his negativity, with everything he says that's going wrong in the country, let me tell you something. When I went to Washington, when Barack Obama went to Washington, we were losing 800,000 jobs a month. We have, ha we have had 72 months of job growth in the United States. That is not only a record in the country's history, that's even more times than they've tried to repeal Obamacare in the House of Representatives. And just a few weeks ago, finally, finally, we talked about this when I was running the last time about how in our economy we hadn't seen r wages rise for the middle class in the United States for decades. Finally, we got the news last week that incomes were up last year, an average for 5% for our middle class. And if, and, and if you were in the lowest, if, and I want to tell you this, Pueblo, because I know you're knocking on doors and you need, to, you need to tell people the truth instead of what they're hearing from Donald Trump. And if you were in the lowest level of income earners in the country, finally, on average, your income went up by 7% last year. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to do is go back to the trickle-down economics that put us into the worst recession since the Great Depression. And let me tell you something, that is exactly what Donald Trump intends to do. Donald Trump's tax policy is George W. Bush tax policy, only worse only more trickle down. And I, I can tell you what's at stake because I've had the privilege to travel this state over the last seven years, to meet families who are struggling, even in an economy that's doing better, to earn a wage that will allow them to pay for housing, allow them to pay for early childhood education, for college, and for health care. I was in Pueblo West earlier this summer. Yeah. yeah, Pueblo West. Visiting visiting a preschool there. Colorado is one of the most expensive places in America to get preschool. Preschool costs more than college in many cases in Colorado. And I want to tell you what a mom there told me. She told me she was working. She got 22 days of vacation a year from her job at the mall and she worked every single one of them just to make sure her kid was in that school. And she said, it gives me peace of mind to know that my kid is there, but it means that every month I have to make a decision about what I'm not going to pay, my rent, the car bill, or the mortgage. We know we want an economy that works for all Coloradans, not just a few at the top, that when our economy grows, it works a little better for all of us, that we are all in this together, something Donald Trump doesn't recognize. And that, and that, Pueblo, that is what Hillary Clinton's campaign is about. When you strip away all the nonsense that you hear on the television at night, she has plans to make childcare and college more affordable. What's Donald Trump, Trump focused on? 
not paying taxes. And it's fairly simple, so let me break it down for you. As you said himself, Trump is for Trump. Hillary is for you. <laughs> Say it, Pueblo. Trump is for Trump. Hillary is for you. That's what this election is about. Hillary Clinton is the most experienced person to run for the presidency in modern American history. She might say, and I share this view about myself, that she might not be the best politician in the world, but she'll be a great president and she'll be ready on day one. She, she is running on her record and her experience and Donald Trump's ridiculousness if we do the work, we will not lose. Now, now, before I get out of your way, which I'm going to do in 60 seconds, I just want to say a word about the Senate race here in Colorado. Thank you, thank you for giving me the privilege to serve as your United States Senator. I would like another term. I have worked diligently over the last month, last years, to represent a state that really is a swing state. It's a state that's a third Democratic, a third Independent, a third Republican. And I think everybody deserves my representation, whether they vote for me or not. And I have worked Repu with Republicans to end No Child Left Behind, to pass a farm bill. A member of the Gang of Eight on immigration, four Democrats and four Republicans passing a bill out of the Senate to secure our borders and to create a pathway to citizenship for the 11 million people that are here. But I need, I need your help, Pueblo. We've got to turn out this time because I'm running against somebody who won their primary in their Republican primary by 13 points by saying over and over again that the problem with Washington is that the Republicans there have been too conciliatory. They've been too helpful. He's, he said, he said, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. He said that if he were elected to the Senate, he would not support Mitch McConnell for leader of the Republicans because he had conspired with President Obama. I can tell you that would be news to President Obama. Let's give him a round of applause for the work he's done for Colorado. So, let me just finish by saying this. I want your vote for the Senate. But more than that, but more than that, Colorado, once again, we elect presidents. The, the entire country is looking at what we're going to do here in this state. And I think given what Donald Trump has done in this election, given what he has said, we should give Hillary Clinton the biggest margin that anybody has ever won in this state of Colorado. And, and the biggest margin right here in Pueblo County. And if we do that, if we do that, we'll send a majority back in the United States Senate to make sure to make sure that we have a Supreme Court that represents you, not Trump. That, that we have a Senate that represents you, not Trump. And that we have a chance to elect Gail Schwartz 
and a House majority that represents you, not Trump. Thank you, Pueblo.